All right, welcome to the Robert Show. It's day two at NVIDIA GTC, and I'm super excited to be with Izar here. Uh, I'm, we met Izar yesterday, uh, spoke a little bit, but today we're going to talk at length about enterprise AI, DDN, what's happening at NVIDIA GTC. So, super excited to be chatting with you, but just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about what you do at DDN, and what's happening at GTC? Sure, thank you. So, I'm Izar Sharon, I uh, run the customer advocacy program. Uh, for DDN, which basically means I work with customers and help them figure out what their needs for the business and translate that to technical uh, requirements so we can have the products that you need. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you talk to a lot of customers, so that's, uh, I'm going to get some good use cases, good insights from the enterprise world. Uh, but. Uh, just to um, you know, ask you a little about uh, since AI is evolving, just uh, beyond just model performance, what role does you know intelligence play in maximum uh, maximize uh, AI outcomes? Any thoughts there? Yeah. So essentially, the industry is trying to catch up with Nvidia. The world is trying to catch up with Nvidia. Right. They're moving so fast. They are announcing, announcing things so fast. And one of the reasons they can do it, by the way, is AI, because of their internal implementation. You think of this massive organization implementing an AI and showing the world how to do it, right? right? What vendors or companies are trying to do is also keep up with NVIDIA, because they announce you know, uh, faster performance GPUs, exactly. a higher power consumption, and you can't have the intelligence without feeding it. The feeding that we see happening is the data. There's no compute without data. You need both. DDN and uh, are uh, trying to keep up with NVIDIA by implementing uh, intelligence data infrastructure for them to use and feed this GPU monster. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you mentioned a little bit about infrastructure and you know what DDN is doing. So, uh, as we've seen, your many organizations focus on compute and infrastructure, uh, but DDN emphasizes intelligence above the stack. Uh, what does this mean in practical terms? I'm pretty sure my audience would be curious yeah. to know about that. Sure. So, uh, in the stack or below the stack is the infrastructure that you have in a data center. It's more hardware related, accelerating via uh, speeds and feeds. Right. Above the stack, it's what you do more intelligently to get the application to uh, work faster and simpler. Uh, we'll, we're going to get to it, but one of the challenges of enterprise or any organization implementing AI, it's complex. You got to simplify that. Uh, NVIDIA is doing very well with their CUDA and all the uh, different uh, subsets of CUDA to try uh, with NIMS or NEMO, try to make it easier to develop for the application. Very interesting. Above the stack means taking that infrastructure and making it available for the end user at the end. Mm. So it's not just about accelerating you know, bandwidth, a uh, number of tokens, but it's also making sure you're doing it in a smart way, especially when you, you start talking about agentic AI, right. where lo location is not one location. Historically, True. everything was in that one data center. It was simple. They came the cloud, make it more challenging for customers to use hybrid. Exactly. And now on top of that, we have AI that it's with agentic AI that you have not just the core where you develop the model, but also where you need to run it in a rag or inference in many locations. So enabling that is what we call about the stack. Okay, that, uh, I have a follow-up question here, Izar, and those are great insights, thanks for that. Uh, how does DDN's intelligence layer enhance, like you mentioned about inference, so maybe AI inference, reasoning, automation in real time, how does that happen? So we met uh, like seven years ago with NVIDIA, and as I, as I mentioned, uh, Jensen is looking 10 years ahead, right. which is extremely hard. In our industry, you know, looking a year ahead is, is, is hard. And the only constant we have with AI is change. You have to adapt and you have to build something that is adaptable for any changes that you may have. You mm. have new models coming, you know, every week. Every also. week, true. And, and, and when you look, I don't know if you use ChatGPT or Grok or any of those, every week a different model is better than the other. Right. So adaptability is important. 
When we started developing Infinia, which is the infrastructure that we have for multimodal and agentic AI, mm. we, we trusted NVIDIA to say this is what you need, and we, with them, uh, worked on developing it. And that is in order to support multimodal, you can run AI anywhere, because the generation of LLM is mainly mm -hmm. in the data center, but the, uh, as I mentioned, the inference could be anywhere. And you have to have uh, intelligence to know which data you need where, and transfer the data, or actually just the metadata, or the tokens, to that uh, region or that location, and that's what we practically built. Love it. Uh, I also want to, you know, uh, obviously talk a little about the enterprises you all are serving. In uh, since we are on this topic of challenges that they face, and yeah. you know, uh, the solutions that they look after as well. Uh, I have a curious question that is. Um, you know, many enterprises also struggle with AI workflow fragmentation. So, how does DDN streamline and unify the AI operations? Can you share a little bit about that as well? Yeah, sure. So, as enterprises, let, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. You cannot implement AI if you don't see the return on the investment. Exactly. I mean, we all talk about we got to do it, we got to do it, and it's, it's, I, it's similar to how cloud started like 10 years ago with Amazon, where Enterprises had a mandate, you got to move to the cloud. It looks simpler. You can in instantly create an instance and run workloads there. But the challenge is, how do you make money out of it? Because just moving things to the cloud is more expensive when you scale. Mm. You rather own than rent. Cloud is renting. Uh, building your own data center is owning. So cloud essentially is yep. more... Uh, is more uh, expensive but it's simpler mm. to start with but you have to scale it with a proper compliance with the organization right so that becomes a hybrid a hybrid is complex uh, so same thing is is happening with AI it's easy to say hey, I'm gonna run my copilot mm. but still you have those silos each one's running their own copilot um, you have to connect the dots Connecting right. the dots, we see it as the data infrastructure to do it. Yep. It has to have intelligence. It has to have um, a separation or governance. Right. Everything that I mentioned was built into technology that we built. Again, seven years is, is a long time, but yep. we wanted to get it right. Also, you, you want to introduce technology, and one of the things I like about DDN, it's an engineering company that is building products right. that bring value to their customers. Yeah. It's nice to be an engineering company, but if it doesn't bring value to the customers, it's not really helpful. Yeah, so. that's fantastic. Uh, and you're right, you know, it's the value that the customers always look out for, and the companies that you're catering to are big enterprises, mm -hmm. not only just uh, in you know manufacturing in these sort of industries, but regulated industries too. So do you want to also share some use case that comes to your mind from the recent times? I know so because you talk I, to a lot of customers, but yeah, no yeah. names needed, <clears throat> maybe the industries, yeah. Um, yeah, so banking is, is relatively uh, uh, easy to talk about because yeah. There's money to be had there. Uh, the more you put intelligence, the more money you can make. However, right. uh, a key aspect of banking is fraud detection. And we are working with uh, multiple enterprises to help with fraud detection, because th what fraud detection has is a lot of data, right. a lot of uh, uh, different um, sentiments that you need to know when somebody attacks you, is, it, is the right person? There's a lot of data on history. So it's digestion of a lot of data. We excel with that, with yep. DDN. But also need to logic to have multimodal because it's the location of the attack. It's, it could be a, a streaming. It could be a, just a text, like a PDF. We, uh, we have to connect multiple uh, types of data. And that's, again, what we do at DDN build an infrastructure that right. connect multiple types of data, yep. can run on-prem and in the cloud at the same time. The new, the new uh, product is software only, so you can run it anywhere. It's containerized, you can run it in <laughs> different cloud providers. Um, so we feel like we built a perfect solution for enterprises, and we also included governance in that uh, model as right. well. So.
Okay, one more quick question around that. Um, you know, since we are talking here about enterprises, I know when it comes to scaling, that becomes a very huge task uh, for enterprises out there. So, scaling AI requires not only just more than the hardware, right? Uh, how does DDN enable enterprises to enable, you know, to scale AI uh, and uh, without without any complications to make it much more easier? I know it's not an easy job to scale AI, but then still. It's not an easy, <coughs> sorry, it's no, not yeah. an easy job. Yeah. But the background of DDN is HPC. We started in 1998 doing HPC. HPC right. has to scale. If you don't scale, you don't get more performance. Right. So the DNA of DDN, it's right. a lot of D words, um, is uh, scaling. Right. And in, with that also power consumptions become a, a, a problem. So we are a low power, right. high scaling, and when you scale your workloads, because you can start with, a, Jensen mentioned yesterday, like a trillion parameters for a model, you got to scale. You exactly. And I'll say one more thing about the enterprise. With enterprises, you got to get, you have to be accurate. You can't just say, oh, I'm 95% right, let's use this <laughs> model. It, it gives me a 95% chance of a yes or a no. It's good for search, it's good for ads, it's not good for transactions. In exactly. order to do that, you need more parameters and you need really fast performance from the infrastructure. Again, that's what we do. I love it. So. Uh, one more quick question. What's next for DDN and, um, you know, like not only just DDN's intelligence platform, but uh, how will it redefine AI-driven solutions and uh, sure. what can customer expect? Sure, so we announced uh, three products, uh, well, that's four this week. Uh, one of them is running uh, our technology on Google Cloud because we see the enterprise and customers embracing cloud for their AI platform as well. You got So you gotta be there as well. Uh, the other product we announce is a combination of our mm -hmm. uh, initial product, which is Exascaler, which is the training workhorse. It's the number one training uh, software out there. Nice. And uh, that's what NVIDIA is using with their super pods, essentially. Very cool. But the, the product we announced is a combination of that and Infinia, which is our multimodal, run anywhere, containerized environment. And we did that because you can't just think of an LLM, it's only, I do only the training or I do only the inference, it's all connected. You gotta get one product that does it all and that's what we announced. And the, the third one was about simplicity. Yeah. Um, so we have, a, a, we call it industry sync. You can run the model in your data center or in your enterprise and with a click of a button, you create your environment in a different location that can run your AI workflows as well. Hmm. Simple. It's nice to get ROI. If it's not simple, people will not implement it. So true. So um, that Those was the fantastic announcements. Yeah. Congrats on that, uh, and you yeah. know, obviously, great work that you and your team are, have been doing in this space. Uh, sure. Our, uh, one last question for our audience, and that is, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about you know the different things that you all are you know announcing, and just stay tuned with DDN, uh, where can they do that? So I would just say go to our website, ddn.com. Awesome. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can find everything there. Um, nice. And uh, we are just, as I mentioned in the beginning, keeping up with NVIDIA, which is not easy, <laughs> but you have to do it to yes. stay relevant. Love it. Thanks, Azar, for uh, such a insightful conversation. It was such a pleasure hosting you on The Ravid Show. We'll keep the conversation going, and all the best for the conference. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Thank you, everyone.